Okay, can we normally get an intro right now? Where's Where's Randall? Randall. 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 Oh, oh God. What? Oh Randall. God. Oh. Randall. Uh, um, um. So I met Aaron Douglas last night. Oh no. You followed the trail, and this wow. is what happened. I've, yep. I've, um, I didn't know Randall was a rod puppet. Wow. wow. You're, you're looking a little green around the everything. Oh, God, where'd my shirt go? That's kind of what we were asking yeah. you. Are we allowed to show right. this on no. live TV? Well, that's, the okay. table is, um, yeah, it'll be fine. Let's okay. hope so. Uh, so, yeah. Um, good morning, Dragon Con. <laughs> Thank Welcome you. to the Dragon Con Late Show. I'm uh, not hungover. I'm Randall. And this is Stephen Grenade. Excellent. And to my left, Brian. I like how you had to think about that one. He's, well, I'm processing. I got, I got him confused with David Spade again. <laughs> and also, to my immediate left, our favorite hockey fan, Allie. Golf clap, golf clap. Okay, so uh, let's get this party started, or I guess continued in Randall's case. Um, yeah, I didn't know this was a clothing, clothing optional panel. Uh, yeah, no. so Randall... No, um, I will spare you all. Yeah. Randall, no, nice um, boxers. do I even Thank want you. to know? So I'm at the last night, uh, the, the last party on Alderaan. And, um, well, I, 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 I discovered, you know, Red Bull yesterday, and I've been going nonstop. <laughs> it's amazing. And, um, well, one thing led to another, and David Prowse and I got into an argument, and it all kind of blacks out after that. I think we're going to have to cut you off. Yeah. <laughs> no more Red Bull. Yeah, by the no way, no more partying. The Red Bull containers are sized for people. That's one dose for a person. So, so you how, many, drink how many a did you less. have? What's the number after 200? Lots. Lots. I many. had lots. I had all lots. the Red Bull. <laughs> yeah. So let's move on to something else. We'll talk about con survival tips later so that Randall might learn something from this experience, assuming he <laughs> actually remembers any of Sunday. We're gonna start with the ceremonial reading of the schedule changes from today's blue. Blue is the color of the Sunday Daily Dragon. Allie, would you please start us off with the additions for Sunday? Um, are we reading all of these today? Um, let's just wing it. Okay. Oh, sorry. Al, you're up, go. Okay, uh, weapons and fiction, laser blasters or M4s, how and when gun accuracy is important in the comics medium uh, from Nathan Edmondson. Uh, that's um, today at 10 a.m. in the Kennesaw Room um, in the basement of the Hyatt. So Excellent. everyone's gonna leave the True Blood panel and now and go to that, right? That's okay, right. Good, awesome. Steven. Yes, Althea Contis will be on Breaking Off the Page with Janet Lee. I th actually, I thought you ripped off the page. Sunday, 11.30 in Hanover F. in the Hyatt. Aliens, friendly visitors or invading foes? I just like saying that, invading foes. Invading foes. From V and Falling Skies to ET in Contact, we've seen different representations for aliens and their visits. Uh, Sunday, 11.30 a.m., that's today, in the M106-107 room in the Marriott. Now, I'm not saying it's a panel about aliens, but it's a panel about aliens. <laughs> it might be. So, every time she face palms, take a drink. What? <laughs> it's your turn. It is. You, you may want to back away from him. You're not quite sure where he's been, and actually, he, neither is yeah, he. No, he he smells a little bit, too. Yeah. yeah. That's just the Red Bull sweating out of him. Yeah. Anybody? We'll, we'll get some Febreze later at the CBS. It'll be fine. He's going to start his new line of felt bull. I like uh, how it's like this delayed, and everyone's like, oh, oh really? No. No, too early. Steven, you're wearing the Brony shirt. I just, I just want you to know that. You're the one in the Brony shirt. It's true. He is. He is in a Brony shirt. Love and tolerance, man. But at least he's Love wearing a shirt. Touché, so doc Brian. Doctor Who's? Touché. Yeah, two great things that have been randomly mashed up together and put on a t-shirt. Because it's con and that's what happens. I love that. Allie, please save us. That was from almost standard. a face palm. So close. Mm. Oh, I have to say, I, no, isn't the ceremonial no. reading of the name? Wait, wait, um... Wait, okay. wait, don't tell me. <laughs> okay, um, Nathaniel... Buzalik. 
And Sebastian and Roche will be on Vampire Diaries today at 11.30 a.m. in the Peachtree Ballroom. There's going to be a Metalocalypse fan panel. Join groupies for Death Clock to talk about all things Metalocalypse. Sunday, 1 p.m. in Dunwoody Hyatt. So if you hear an explosion, that's where it came from. That is so brutal. I know. Ask Zombie Squad, sheltering in place, bug out bags, and skills for the apocalypse. Zombie Squad will answer your questions Sunday, 4 p.m., findings one and two room in the Westin. I thought you said zombies were going to answer our questions, and I thought that's going to be a really easy battle. Uh, right. It's going to sound a lot like tomorrow's version of the show, actually. So. <laughs> yeah. The Sitting Dead. See, we have to banter if you don't talk, so you might want to read the next one yeah. quickly. Okay. Uh, Venture, there's a Venture Brothers signing uh, oh, following the Venture Brothers panel. Uh, Doc Hammer, Jackson Public, and James Urbaniac. Urbaniac. I had it that time. Yes, really. <laughs> Even the, the audience, audience is, is doubting Ellie now. Yeah. They're turning. Quick, we've got to win them back. Uh, how about Michael Truco? Michael Truco will be on BSG. Bright, shiny futures are overrated. Sunday, 5.30 p.m., Atrium Ballroom in the Marriott. That's the actual name of the panel? The actual name of the panel is BSG, Bright, shiny futures are overrated. That pretty much sums up the show, doesn't it? Because sometimes you just want your sci-fi to depress you all the time. Yay. This show brought to you by Prozac. And uh, the, actually, brought to you by the airlock. <laughs> Suzanne Church will not be on short and not-so-sweet stories. Sunday, 7 p.m. in the Embassy Room in the Hyatt. Hmm? So Aaron Douglas Sorry. and I. <laughs> every, every pause, you're just going to be inserting that, right? Yep. Aaron Douglas? Yes. You're going to be inserting Aaron Douglas. No! Moving on! Oh, no! Moving on. Allie, okay. please tell us. Uh, uh, Brina Palencia sings um, Sunday, 7.30 p.m. in the Baker Room. Hey, I got Michael Truco again. Michael Truco will also be on BSG. Galactica will bring us home Monday, 11.30 a.m., also in the Atrium Ballroom. I guess they're just sort of parking him in the Atrium. So swing by. He might be there at all times. Sit here all day. And uh, the last thing that we've got on our editions, make the Internet more skeptical with one mouse click. Er Tim Farley describes how to help make the internet more skeptical. I don't know what this is about. You'll find out if you go to the Hilton 205 room Monday at 1 p.m. Dear sir or madam. Yeah. I'm a Nigerian Muppet. <laughs> <laughs> there are other things in the Daily Dragon. Of course, if you read them all, then you wouldn't have the opportunity, and we don't like spoilers now, do we? So pick up the Daily Dragon or check it out online. Also, before we get into anything else, I just have a new update on my phone. Ooh. It's Wait. a fancy little device. The network um, actually works for you? Yes, I know. Buffers there's and buffers a, um, and buffers. Where's my phone? There's, AT&T! There's a uh, L.M. Davis book signing in the autographs area at 5.30 p.m. today. Um, that's all I know about that. Oh, wait, I've got to have a phone, too. All right. Okay, Here, yes. Randall. No, it's, it's a, right. Yeah. The does the touchscreen work on that? No, 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 it does not. We need a Muppet-safe phone. That's you, Brian. Go. Oh, yeah, that's me. Yes. So now we're going to talk about... See, now who's... Well, who's you were distracting me with the stuff. These are your the pictures stuff. from last it's night. It's so shiny, and I touch Wait, it, no. and there's information. Yeah, I know. Wait, what? We're sharing those. Uh, yeah, okay, well, all right, whatever. Uh, cancellations. Um, we have canceled the activity. We don't know what it is, but it's not going to be today, 10 a.m., in the Kennesaw Room in the Hyatt. That, that has actually now been named the inactivity. Ah, thank ah, you. Ah. Performance workshop with Craig Crumpton will not be today at 11.30 a.m. in the Baker Room. Dr. Sperry's Strangest Cases is not occurring Sunday, 11.30 a.m. in M106-107 of the Marriott. And that puts us up to Kat Graham, Steve McQueen, and Michael Trevino will not be on the Vampire Diaries panel today, 11.30 a.m. in the Peachtree Ballroom of the Weston. <laughs> exactly. Someone said it was too early. Yeah, too early. <laughs> too soon? Too early? Kathy Najimi in the spotlight will not be today at 11.30 a.m. in A601, A602 in the Marriott. David Franklin will not be on Pop the Frilling Bubble, Farscape Cast Reunion, today at 1 p.m. International North of Hyatt. Yeah, we get that Popping the Bubble thing. That was actually a pretty cool name. Um, Still going on, just too bad it slightly got smaller bubble. They did totally pop that. It was probably one of those real estate bubbles. That's why it's, it's not uh, there anymore. Uh, 
Children's show by Alex Boyd will not be today, 1 p.m. at the Baker Room of the Hyatt. The Art of the Short Film will not be today at 4 p.m. in the Embassy, uh, Embassy C. Carlos Pedraza will not be on Miss Star Trek Universe Sunday, 4 p.m., Grand Ballroom AF of the Sheridan. Um, T. Morris will not be on Steampunk 101, Monday, 11.30 a.m. in the Embassy Room of the Hyatt. He will also not be on How Do You Take Your Steampunk, Light or Dark, With Monday, cream. 1 p.m., International A in the Westin. Um, they canceled the second one because Steampunk 101 was obviously a prerequisite course. Ah, uh, <clears throat> you got to get your, your lower level steampunk classes before you Absolutely. can go to the I upper think, level what ones. Is that? that's, that's basically how not to burn yourself with a glue gun. Right. And also, how do you turn on the television in your hotel room? And, right. and eventually, eventually you get to advanced gearing. gearing. What is this sorcery for the zoyotropes they have provided for me? Continue, woman, reading of the script. Uh, From Believer to Skeptic will not be t uh, Monday at 1 p.m. in 2.05 and 2.07 in the Hilton. Uh, speaking of steampunk, Pip Ballantine will not be on How Do You Take Your Steampunk Light or Dark, Monday 1 p.m. in International A in the Weston, or Women in Alternate History, Monday 2.30 p.m. International BC of the Weston. Veronica Belmont will not be on a variety of things. These include Reaching the Fans, Monday, 11.30 a.m. at 2.09 in the Hilton. When Things Go Wrong, like Canceling Your Panel, which was going to be tomorrow, 1 p.m., 2.04 in the Hilton, and Podcasting Track Sign-Off, which is tomorrow, 4 p.m., at the same place in the Hilton, where it's not going to be anymore. And thus ends the reading of the cancellations. Cancellations. All right, hey, man. What's moving next? on to updates. Moving okay. on. Alan. I, I can't actually read the script. I, I, yeah, I have no we clue. covered Sorry. that yesterday. We weren't oh, going right, to mention right. the fact it, that you can't read. Okay. I mentioned the fact that you can't read. We got it I'm right sorry. I'm a, I'm a terrible co-host. Really, Stephen? I feel shame. You should. I, I go to the box and I feel shame. I'm the naked one and you should feel shame. <laughs> yes. Being shamed by a naked puppet. That's it's pretty low. Track, <laughs> the fact that I can be pretty shamed good career by a naked puppet. Right there, ladies uh, and gentlemen. It's just not good. <laughs> okay, updates. moving on to updates. Uh, how have movies treated the paranormal moved from Friday 10 a.m. to today at 5.30 p.m. in M106 and M107 in the Marriott? Uh, Fringe What's Next was moved from today at 5.30 p.m. to Saturday 8.30 p.m. I tell you where it is, but at this point, you're going to need a time machine first to get to it, so... Sorry. It could be in here right now. We have no idea. There's oh, probably an do. alternate history or an alternate universe of Fringe happening on, uh, today, so you could cross over. Does that mean there could be a Randallment? It could be, yes, absolutely. Yeah, that's where your shirt is, yeah. So, disastrous past, present, and future is not this panel. Uh, it's one that has been moved to Sunday, 11.30 a.m. It moved from 2.02 in the Hilton to the Valdosta in the Sheridan. Yeah, so, I'm make sure if you want to go to that, you know that, because that's a little bit of a walk. Yeah. And also, I mean, you know, I'm not sure if the Sheridan's happy to get a disaster panel or is now a little concerned. Mm. Ignore the audience. They're not yes. paying attention to us either. So. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, Allie. What's next? Wait, 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 wait. True Blood? Yeah. There we go. There we go. Now they're back. What? Who's the one? I'm not afraid to pander. Okay, Behind the Brooms, the sci-fi janitors moved from uh, today at 1 p.m. to today at 11.30 a.m. in M101. Don't, in the oh, it's still happening. You can still go see them. They're Only still sweeping. even more hungover. Yes. The Game of Thrones, I guess the entire series, has been moved from Sunday 7 p.m. to Sunday 10 p.m. It will be in Greenbrier and Hyatt. You know, prepare to die when you go. Yeah, the nice thing about the Greenbrier is it's not an upper floor, so there's no windows. Oh, so, you know, people get no, pushed out. No defenestration. Down. Yeah, exa exactly. Uh, rebuilding the World, uh, yes. Monday 10 a.m. is moved from Roswell 1 and 2 to Augusta 1 and 2 in the Westin. Uh, the Return, um, Monday, 11.30 a.m., moved from Roswell 1 and 2 to Augusta 1 and 2 in the Westin. I see what they did there. Now, this next update, I really want to sing it. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to spare oh, you, no, but you it's, it's the it. end of the track as we know it. Monday, 1 p.m., moved from Roswell 1 2 to Augusta 1 2, still in the Westin, so you don't have that far of a different walk to make. Yes, still at 1 p.m. There we go. And I feel fine. 
Um, someone had I to, was voiding I was that. Waiting for, I was waiting for Randall to do it, but he's a little off his game this morning. But, uh, the you know, Red Bull ran out, and now he's crashed. And apparently it's, apparently it's kind of cold in here. Um, last call is moved from Monday, 2.30 p.m., moved from Roswell 1 and 2 to Augusta 1 and 2 in the Weston. Leave takings uh, moved from Monday 4 p.m. Uh, Roswell 1 and 2 to Augusta 1 and 2 in the Weston. And that's the end of the update. Uh, Stephen, you want to grab yes, the last cancellation? We have, on the we have one correction, correction that okay. DJ Little Jim, DJ Dance will run two hours, not four hours, from Monday to 3 to 5 a.m. in the Atriot Ballroom. There's no way I'm going to be up for that. No. I, I'll be. Well, yeah, it depends on how much more Red Bull you mainline. Have you ever seen a puppet at a rave? I'm thinking glow sticks in your hair. It'll be awesome. It's so much glow sticks. All the so glow sticks. Much. All the glow sticks. That's so all the time. tomorrow what you're saying yes. is you're going to come in and your yes. shirt will be glow sticks. Yes. Okay. Wow. We're going to hold you to that. Please don't hold me. <laughs> I'm not going to hold you. Don't touch. <laughs> I found my new favorite game, everyone. It's called Tweaked Out Randall. <laughs> Soon available on your iPhone. No, not really. So, okay. so it is now felt up of Randall. Oh, wow, really? really? <laughs> no, <Okay>. no, bye-bye. <laughs> nah, nah. To show you how effective... That was very alarming. To show you how effective the mobile uh, access to the Daily Dragon is, I'm now going to use it to read to you the winners from last night's page to stage comic book contest. Excellent. Uh, the winners are, and of course there are no pictures for you, you'll have to go to the website and look at them, but there's some really cool stuff, and I like this one. First place best in show was Aline Tan Rodriguez for Costume Hot Girl, impressive wingspan. She got 500 bucks for that. Mm. Second place was Jeff Randall with Steampunk Thor, which was a really, really Wait, good Steampunk Thor? Steampunk Thor. Um, the hammer, I'm sold. It glows, it's got, you know, I think there's a gear involved. Possibly. I think that is my favorite Thor a lot of, like, since Thorgy. Thorgy? Thorgy, it's a yes, corgi Thorgy. dressed as Thor. You've been on the it internet is, again. It is the most adorbs thing ever. You've been Steve. on the internet again, haven't you, Stephen? Yes, it's Thank true. you. That's Your what Reddit is for. with corgis is unhealthy. Because <laughs> they're also with their little teeny legs. <laughs> Steampunk Thor got $200 in dealer bucks. Third place with Ka Catherine Pickett, uh, Donna Troy as Wonder Woman, which is a really, really nice costume. Uh, $100 in dealer bucks. Uh, the Whack Job Award went to Tank Girl, uh, Lorene... I mean, who else, who else is uh, it going to go to? Of course, right? yes, with yeah. 50 dealer bucks. Um, Sexy Sassy Award went to Sarah Lynn Herman with uh, Harley Quinn from Arkham Asylum. That got her 50 dealer bucks. We had a very nice World War II Captain America. That's the Patriot Award for Steven Simmons. And the Uber Patriot Award went to Roman Wonder Woman, which was very impressive. Uh, 50 dealer bucks go to that as well. Uh, Allie, we had a little podcasting thing yesterday as well. Really? Yes. Would you tell us all about the winners of the Parsec Awards? Oh, yes. The finalists and winners of the 2012 Parsec Awards, uh, best, new, best New Speculative Fiction Podcaster or Team, Toasted Cake, Best Speculative Fiction uh, Fan or News Podcast, uh, Specific, The Signal, and General, The Incomparable. Best, best Speculative Fiction Comedy or Parody Podcast, Super Villain Corner. Best Speculative Fiction Music Podcast, Radio Free Hipster. Man, I was into them before they won an award. Uh, oh. Really? Come on, no one's going to laugh at hipster jokes? <clears throat> what is this world coming to? I was, I was telling hipster jokes for long before you were, so... <laughs> But don't you Touché. have to tell them ironically? I'm sorry? Don't you have to tell them ironically? Yes. I, I can still like them ironically. Yeah. Best podcast about speculative fiction content creation, writing excuses. Best, fan, best fact behind the fiction podcast, Monster Talk. That was awesome. They accepted their award dressed as a monster. It was yeah, really nice. Was <clears throat> yeah. Best speculative fiction magazine or anthology podcast, The Drabblecast. Best Speculative Fiction Audio Drama, Short Form, Keeg's Quest, A Skyrim Adventure by Rich Matheson. Did you say something, Randall? No, no, no. no. I, th I think she was waiting for the, the arrow to the knee joke. Yeah. Yeah. You dropped it, man. If you don't go for the obvious joke, we'll have no jokes at all. I know. 
He's coming down off the Red Bull. It's kind of depressing to watch. Yeah, I mean, poor Randall. <laughs> <laughs> Quick Randall sinking. Read his, raise his spirits by reading the rest of the Parsec Awards. He loves podcasting. Best small cast speculative fiction story short form, The Ministry of Peculiar Occurrences, Precarious Child by Pip Ballantine. Aww. Read, read to him. Okay. <laughs> read him a bedtime story of it's podcast story time, winners. Randall. Pretty sure that was against my contract. <laughs> Best large cast specul speculative fiction story, The Ministry of Peculiar Occurrences, The Seven by P.C. Herring. Best speculative fiction audio drama, long form, The Mask of Inanna by Alicia uh, Gorenson. Best small cast speculative fiction story, long form, Underwood and Flinch, a vampire novel by Mike Bennett. And that's some Excellent. of the cool content yes. coming from all the people in the podcasting track. Of course, you didn't hear Dragon Con TV or what the cast there, but mm. Stephen, it is an honor to be nominated. It is always an honor to be nominated, and these are good winners. I, I, they are. I have no regrets. Mm -hmm. I regret nothing. Arr. All right, so we've only got a few minutes left on the, on the show. I know it seems like forever. There's only eight minutes left. Um, it's okay. True Blood is next. They're going to be very excited. Yeah. It's true. It's true. <clears throat> Randall's, Randall's just going to shapeshift into one of the cast members uh, right here before your eyes, so. <laughs> wait, 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 what? I'm sorry, I have no ears. <laughs> you don't have any ears. I'm so sorry. Was that huh? like an accident in childhood? Well, yes. Okay. <laughs> it's a tragic encounter with a Zune. It was, it was terrible. <laughs> I'll bite you. I fear for my ankle. Look, he'll go for the ankles. <laughs> it's not a pretty sight. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a moment. It's just very, very odd moment. Yes. Let's go over your I convention survival weird. tips for the day. Aside from not sitting next to a puppet, Stephen, what is your survival tip for? No, no seriously, don't sit next to the Muppet. It yes, just don't. does not end well. <clears throat> I, I continue with my usual advice of pace yourself. We've still got Sunday and Monday to go. Lots of water, try to get a little sleep, occasionally go someplace where it's quiet and just mm -hmm. recharge so that you can keep going and you can actually enjoy the things that you're at. It's no fun to go to a panel and be like, this is going to be awesome. <laughs> Plus it kind of weirds the panelists out. It's like, yes, we see you sleeping. We're very exciting, aren't we? <laughs> Red Bull, yes. Yes, yes Red Bull. Red yes. Bull as, as Randall can tell you, Red Bull, not really a substitute for sleep. No. <laughs> it I works for a short period of time, and then it stops. Yeah, so uh, Randall, uh, if you can remember anything from yes. yesterday, so, do you have any uh, tips? I'm guessing your convention tip is less Red Bull or more Red Bull? More eyelids. More eyelids. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really creepy to watch you sleep. I'm just going to let you know that. Yeah. Why are you watching him sleep, Stephen? <laughs> Why are you not? <laughs> Allie, do you have any survival <laughs> tips aside from not taking the lead for this segment from Stephen? <laughs> Come on, face palm. They're waiting for the face palm. Done. Yay. I need an Muppet animated palm. Internet, I need an animated GIF of that, please. If you'll just Tumblr that business, <laughs> that would be nice. And we can put it on Tumblr. Hmm? We can put it on Tumblr with all the other GIFs. Oh, Randall needs yes. a Pinterest page. Yes. Because you can actually pin things to him. You know, kind of like a. Little Velcro, I'm, maybe? I'm telling you, if, if you try to pin stuff to him, your ankles are gone. <laughs> You're going to just have stubs down Actually, there. Actually, is that the thing where we should start a site called Velcrist, which is basically Pinterest for um, puppets because you could you totally use Velcro instead of pins. All right, Allie, nice. please okay, have yes. a tip. Yes. Let's yes. save us from this. <laughs> save us. Again, my tip for the day is remember to eat. I didn't follow my own advice yesterday, and no, you can't go an entire day on nothing but a tube of Pringles. <laughs> so that didn't work out very well. Once you pop, you can't stop but feeling and hungry the, at yes. four in the afternoon. Yeah, my, uh, my tip is we made a PSA out of it. Hello, ladies, PSA man here. No, um, shower. <laughs> Please. I know, it, yes. thank you. So say we all. Uh, you, you mean so, so say we, we all. Look, I'm, this becomes a stereotype of nerd culture. Let's not reinforce it. 
You're staying in a hotel. Yes. It may not be your room, but it's a room. They bring you the soap every day. If you use it, more will appear. <laughs> if you don't like the soap you have, use more of it, then more will appear. It'll be new, it'll be a different soap. Ooh, uh, little bottles of shampoos and things. Uh, the staff. Yeah, I have some bottles of shampoo if anyone needs to borrow them. Really? <laughs> uh, it's, well, think of all the money your hotel is saving. Yeah. You. <laughs> exactly. Congratulations. You just use a squeegee, right? <laughs> That's right. Just to scrape that back. Yeah. Sham wow. It's a shat wow, actually. Uh, yeah, we'll pull out the shat wow, yeah. and there we go. You know, you... He's got that Picard shine. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> yeah, it, look, it's, it's just a, it's a nice thing to do for the people around you because you want to try to make new friends here, and it's easier to do when people want to be close to you as opposed to very far away from you. And you as the audience of the show for the past 28 minutes sort of understand what that feels like. Yeah. That's right. I, I'm sure you've walked into the elevator and sort of the wall of smell hits you. Don't contribute to mm -hmm. that. Please no, don't. Please, you don't yeah. want the, the elevator doors to open and the funk comes out. Mm, we're dropping the funk. Send the funk away. Yeah. Yes, please. Drop yes. the funk. No, I'm sorry. I didn't bring my drum set. I'm sorry. It, it's hard to, f to fit into the car with all the other stuff. Yeah. Plus, you know, going up the elevator with a drum set in this place? No. Don't fail. do that. Yeah. Epic Don't. fail. No. <laughs> all right, so we're down to the final thoughts of the last two minutes of the program. Steven, Final thoughts. Thing. I'm really looking forward to the Puppet Slam tonight. Yeah. Uh, some Puppet Slam so fans. Oh, wow. You know? I just yesterday got to do a talk about the Higgs boson and how they slammed things together, and so the idea of slamming puppets together to see what they're made of is really exciting. Um, Steven, that's... You don't have to participate. You can just watch. Oh, I like to watch. There we go. Yeah, I, they're, they're building this... So do I. Oh, my. I feel really uncomfortable right they're, now. They're building this, um, <laughs> yeah, um, the, the Henson boson. Is that what they're looking the, for? The Henson they boson, yes. Stuff together? Yeah. All right. Yes, uh, Randall, what, uh, what's your final thought for the Final day? thought, so Randall. My, so my final thought last night is, um, so I'm, I'm watching Doctor Who last night. Yeah. Yeah. And I, and I discovered that without eyelids, I'm the perfect defense <laughs> against the weeping angels. <laughs> I want you to find some of the people who are cosplaying the Weeping Angels and just watch them. They'll just be there. like that. We'll be there Monday, 6 p.m., and we're like, can we get a, like a security to carry these guys out? They've just been staring at each other for like four days. What's going you're, on here? You're super effective at that. You found your new hidden talent. That's awesome. That's why, they, that's why they've never had the Weeping Angels on Sesame Street. <laughs> Allie, your uh, final thought for the day. I'm going to be a fangirl for a moment. I know you're really? so surprised. No. <laughs> um, I'm all excited about Gillian Anderson's panel today. All right, so. nice. That's a, that, I believe that's her first time appearance at Dragon Con. Yes. It took her long enough. I know. Cool. Um, I, I want to believe. 26 years, man, we've been here, come on. But I'm glad she, she showed up out of the ether of the existence barely on the website. Yes. Ooh. What was it you had said before, Stephen, that they put her on the website with the blink tag? All <laughs> right. She, here she gone, she, here she gone. My final thought, oh boy, it's a big con, isn't it? Oh. Um, you know the thing that, and I, this is a little bit of a, you know, oh gosh, really, but I'm totally looking forward to a lot of the interviews and guest appearances that we've lined up with our interview crew on videography, because um, um, Stephen and I are about to go sit down for an hour with Chris Gore Woo! from G4 TV. That's going to be fun. And I'll then, be there um, for that too. Yeah, oh, excellent. I didn't know we've you got, were going to hang out by. with uh, Heather Henson later, and we're hoping that a lot of that stuff, uh, our interactions with the guests that aren't on the panels, will show up on our YouTube channel. So we're going to share that with you whenever we get a chance. Uh, after you've gone home and slept a little bit, we'll start feeding that stuff to the internets. And on that note, this will be on the internet later. If you've uh, watched all the way to the end, and it's on, you said it'll be on the internet later, <laughs> spoiler alert. But uh, for Stephen, Randall, Allie, and myself, this has been yet another edition of the Dragon Con Late Show. Enjoy the True Blood. I'll see you tomorrow. True Blood represent! Goodbye, everyone.